Hello. In this video, we'll have a look on how to get started with SharePoint Online Management Shell, aka SharePoint Online Admin PowerShell commandlets. Now, starting from September 2018, these PowerShell commandlets are also available from the PowerShell gallery, and we from Microsoft will keep on evolving and updating their, them uh, in the PowerShell gallery as well. And that's why we actually uh, created this new video showing how to get started. So if you don't have access in your computer, if your computer is not online, uh, uh, or it's, it's in an offline use, you can still download the MSI uh, in future also from SharePoint, uh, sorry, from Microsoft Download. So if you go to the Microsoft Download and you look for SharePoint Online Management Shell, you can actually see the latest version always available from here in multiple different languages. Now, if you, however, have a new operating system, Windows 10, or again, to remember which of the servers is supporting that, um, well, it's in the PowerShell 5 forward, uh, you can actually use PowerShell Gallery to get the Microsoft Online SharePoint PowerShell installed to your machine. And this is much more convenient, it's much faster, uh, you can easily update uh, your module just by running an update command after the module has been, well, after there's a new version available in the PowerShell Gallery. So you don't have to, in the MSI option, uh, you always needed to uninstall the previous version from your machine and then download a new version and install that. Using the PowerShell Gallery option, you can just run install module commands uh, in admin mode uh, or upgrade or update com uh, commands um, and you can actually update those commandlets whenever there's a new version available. Now we're recording this uh, right after this went actually live so nobody actually has uh, is yet aware that the Microsoft Online SharePoint PowerShell uh, module is available but that's the reason why there's only 12 downloads. Now how do I actually get started on this one? So uh, let's actually copy this one. Uh, let's move in to our PowerShell uh, session. Please note, uh, you have to be in the administer, administrator session, so you need to open the PowerShell in admin mode, so you're able to install the module to the operating system. So you need to be an administrator in the computer where you're adding these things. Uh, I'm going to paste in uh, that command, so I'm going to run install module name Microsoft Online SharePoint PowerShell. Let's uh, press enter, and that's going to then download the latest version from the PowerShell gallery and installing that directly to this computer. The, the installation doesn't actually take that long. It's a super fast operation, as you can see. And immediately when that's actually done, uh, the module is then available uh, within this computer, which is super, super cool. So now, uh, as fast as uh, that, uh, I can then go connect uh, SPO service. And let's actually connect uh, to an address. In my case, uh, I'm going to connect to a, well, not on my name. It, let's go to SPPMP admin SharePoint.com uh, because it is a SharePoint Online PowerShell, uh, SharePoint Online Management PowerShell. We always connect to the admin URL. And when I connect there, it's going to now open up uh, the sign in login. So let me actually sign in. There we go. Uh, and this is because I didn't provide any credential information to the Connect SPO service. So, and this also supports multi factor authentication. So, signing in, and let's actually provide the password uh, for that account and for that tenant. And after this, we are connected to the SharePoint Online tenant, and we're able to do something like get SPO tenant command, and that's going to then list the settings of the particular tenant, or we're able to adjust settings or create site collections and do whatever is actually needed. Now, obviously, the, the, the commandlets, uh, all of the, the operations are documented. So if you go to the docs.microsoft.com slash SharePoint uh, in here, docs.microsoft.com slash SharePoint, uh, you are able to find the PowerShell reference for SharePoint links in here. If I click this one, you'll then land on the SharePoint uh, PowerShell uh, listing. And in here, you can actually find overview SharePoint server commandlets, SharePoint online commandlets, and PNP commandlets. So in this case, we're talking about SharePoint online PowerShell. PowerShell. So we're going to go here, SharePoint online management shell. And this page will then have exactly the same guidance uh, to get started um, uh, as within this video as well. For the actual commandlets, uh, you can always go to the reference and I can, I can extend SharePoint online. And for example, uh, get SPO, let's say, S, uh, what would be a get SPO site. Um, I can see the different option uh, in this documentation and we can see how it works and what has to happen. So 
pretty neat, uh, nice list of uh, and good documentation available for all of the PowerShell commandlets. Using the PowerShell gallery, you can really, really, really easily then update uh, these commands. You can really easily uh, learn how to use the well, start using the commands. You can update the commands, and and um, you can easily check if there's a new version available from the commands as well. If you're not familiar with PowerShell gallery, uh, there's plenty of documentation available on that one and what kind of commands are available for installing and updating and deleting uh, those modules uh, from your computer. But I think that's it for this one. So uh, super cool uh, SharePoint Learner Management Shell now available also in the SharePoint, uh, sorry, in the PowerShell gallery. And you can just easily install that by running install module, name a Microsoft Online SharePoint PowerShell in the PowerShell session in admin mode. And you are good to go uh, for using SharePoint Online PowerShell. Thank you. Thank you.